quality is better than quantity. Quality is better than quantity. If you look at Surah Al-Mulk, the second ayah in Surah Al-Mulk, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا. It is Allah سبحانه وتعالى who has created death and life in order to test you what? In order to test you who from among you has better deeds. Allah doesn't say who from among you has more deeds, but He said He says better deeds. Better deeds. We are after the quality and not the quantity. I have seen a lot of your clips and that's what uh, intrigued me. It impressed me and I was very happy and I was uh, making dua that Allah grant you success and goodness and open your doors. Obviously there is a long way to go but uh, there is a lot of good that comes out of at least heading in the right direction. I think you can take your mask off. We are a bit of a distance here, mashallah. Without your permission, I, I'm just videoing what's going on because it's my first time to meet you and I thought it would be good to find out more about you and at the same time, perhaps the uh, brothers and sisters out there can hear more about you. So you are Abdul Latif. Yes. Abdul Latif who? Abdul Latif Muhammad. Tell me about your parents. My dad is 65 years old right now. He's alive, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, alive, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And my mom is uh, 38 right now. Alhamdulillah. She's alive too, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Then, um, I can't even speak. Where did you, uh, where were you raised? In Niger State? Yes, in Niger State, Nigeria. You went to school there? Yes, Niger State. That's good, mashallah. And what type of school did you go to? Was it an Islamic school or just a normal? Islamic school. The name? New Horizons College. New Horizons College. Yes. Oh, mashallah. Sister Mariam Lane. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. That's good. Brother Nuruddin and Sister Mariam, the Lemu family is well known, well known. They are doing a lot of good work. And mashallah, so when did you graduate from there? 2019. Not not long ago. Yes. How old are you? 17. 17. Yes. So you graduated in 2019 uh, with Islamic studies, or w w at what level did you, or they have a course of their own? No, it's just uh, normal here in Nigeria. There's arts or science. So which one did you go for? Arts. arts. Mashallah, that's good. What drove you to uh, delivering Islamic talks? Yeah, it started um, when I was in SS2 class. Okay. So uh, there was a brother, his name is Ammar. Yes. So I used to see the way he does his things. Yes. And uh, I was thinking, like, I also need to improve myself. Mashallah. So then um, I just thought I, I also feel I can do something to maybe speak to people and perhaps inspire them or just... Encourage them to do the right thing in life. Mashallah. So that's how I started, right from secondary school, the SS2 class. Mashallah. Well, at 17, I think it's a big achievement. Usually at this age, a lot of the youngsters are still uh, finding themselves. They don't know whether they're going or coming in, in many cases. So to have uh, this type of dedication and focus from an early age is commendable. Barakallah. Uh, tell me more about your friends, the circle of friends that you have. What type of people are they? Is it a big circle, small circle? I think it's a small circle. So tens of them, that's it. Maybe one, two, three, four, five. Mashallah. I don't even know. Yes. That's good. So we have acquaintances, but not many close friends. That's good. And what type of friends are they? 
Like, how would you describe them? Alhamdulillah, good friends. Good friends, huh? They are also focused on salah and yes, good news. Quran, what's your connection with Quran? Have you memorized or? No, I haven't memorized. But only snippets here and there. Yes. And part of it, like just yes. um, like Surah Al Fatiha and some of the surahs, short places maybe. No, I, I initially started the memorization. At some point, I stopped. But I hope to continue. May Allah grant you that continuation. I mean. May Allah grant you that continuation. That's amazing, mashallah. So what role has Mufti Menk played in your, your, your life and your inspiration to do what you are doing? A small role, medium role, large role, extra large role from Pizza Hut. I say extra large role. Subhanallah. Yes. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. I actually, to be very honest with you, you are doing better than myself. The reason is uh, at your age, yes, I had learned a lot and I already completed HIF at a very early age. I had already learned a lot of uh, Islamic books of various subjects by the time I was your age. And I joined Jamal al Islamiyah in Medina. I was already in Medina by the time I was 17. And uh, the only thing is I was never a public speaker. Never. I couldn't speak in the public. And that all started later on, slowly, bit by bit. And what I like about you, because initially I just thought it must be a youngster who's just, you know, uh, perhaps occupying himself with something. Then I realized, no, this young boy is serious because I took the time to listen to a little bit of what you say. And you know what? It was a good message. A lot of it, I could hear myself saying the same thing, right? And it was encouraging because then you would continue and add your own snippets into that. Am I right? Very right. And uh, I was trained by my father to speak very clearly. Every word must be said, like I have said before with Tajweed, you know. Yeah. And I noticed that you also like to speak very clearly and you like to open your mouth and pronounce the words, you know. So uh, people can understand. Also, the simplicity of the language is something that's extremely in interesting. So, yeah, mashallah, congratulations. I pray. What is, what is your plan for the future? What do you want to do? You are just young. You are 17. You have a long just, way to go. I just... Always pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses me for Islam. Amen. Amen. I used to pray the same prayer and I still pray it. I still pray it on a daily basis. May Allah continue to use us to serve his cause with humbleness, humility, and in a manner that perhaps the Prophet Sallallahu would have done. And that's why when people come to me with their issues or problems or when I'm addressing a crowd of people, I always try to think to myself, if Nabi Muhammad Wasallam was here, what would he say? What would he do? We are not prophets. We are human. We are very far from perfection. We have our weaknesses. We falter. We sin. But we try. And that trial is what's important. We, uh, one thing I have learned is we never belittle people. You know something interesting? Brother Abdul Latif, I believe we all are going to die one day. We know that. To me, that is like jumping in the ocean. Everyone is running towards the ocean and they are going to jump in the ocean. You know, they say the deep, dark sea. Everyone is going to jump into the deep, dark sea or the ocean at some point. You and I, our job is to make sure that between now and the time that they actually jump into the ocean, I'm, I'm referring to death, we need to put on a life vest for them. Convince them somehow that you need to put on this vest, then you jump. That's all. So 
No matter what they are doing right now, how they are dressed, what belief they have, where they are heading, what I need to continue communicating. Please, my, my sister, put on this life vest. You are going to need it. Please, my, what is the life vest? The deen, the iman, the aqidah, the belief, the goodness, the closeness with Allah. That is your life vest. So when they jump into that ocean, ultimately, the vest, by the mercy of Allah, will, will take them into the right place. You, you, you understood my example? Yeah, very, well. very well. So I was thinking about it as I was flying into Abuja this morning. And I'm thinking, subhanallah, there's a life vest. They always make an announcement for a life vest on the plane. Yes. I said, my job, I don't belittle people. I see all sorts of people. Some are okay. Some are not okay. Some are very far away. I must just, ayyuhannas kulu la ilaha illallah tuflihu. Ayyuhannas kulu la ilaha illallah tuflihu. The, the people used to do tawaf around the Kaaba nude at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. And what happened is he continued to very respectfully remind all of them, men, women, and whoever else there was, to say, O oh people, say la ilaha illallah, you will succeed. O oh people, say la ilaha illallah, you will succeed. The aim was to put on that life vest for them before they died. Those who wore it, they jumped into the ocean, they succeeded. Those who didn't wear it, they jumped into the ocean, they drowned. So that's why I respect everybody. You never know someone who appears to be very far from the deen. The minute they put that life vest on, it's okay. So long as they do that before they die. So long as they do that before they jump into the ocean. It's, it's amazing. So I have another question for you. You don't mind. Where did you get your nickname from? Mufti Yaks. Yes. How did it come about? I thought your name was Yaqub. No. Secondary school, my name usually is after the deep Muhammad Miyaki. Oh, Miyaki. Yeah, from there they start. To me, Yaks could have meant two things. Yaks could mean the short for Yaqub, and Yaks could mean talking too much. You know, this guy Yaks a lot. <laughs> so, but I, I thought to myself, let me ask him, you know. MashaAllah, it's good to see you motivated and focused somewhere. So you flew in this morning from, or you drove in? Drove in. Oh, MashaAllah. Do you drive or someone drove you? Someone drove me. MashaAllah. How is your relation with your family? Good? Good. Thank May you. Allah bless you and your family, your loved ones. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Tabarakallah. It was a good opportunity to get to know you. Now tell me, what platforms are you using to spread the deen or the message of good? Instagram. Instagram. Facebook. Facebook. Twitter. Twitter. TikTok. TikTok. YouTube. YouTube. Snapchat. Snapchat. And even my WhatsApp. And WhatsApp. You are doing better than me? Alhamdulillah. It's good to see. I always say we are slightly the older generation. Sometimes we don't have we don't have the time for all these things. Why I'm happy you are using all of this is because at least you are focused on something that is uh, beneficial. If the children of today are focused on something not harmful, I would say you are succeeding. But if you are focused on something beneficial, I would say that you are succeeding overwhelmingly by the will of Allah. So keep that focus, use your free time to do good things, but don't allow your occupation to stop your own growth. One day you will go to study somewhere. You might want to pursue your studies here or elsewhere. Don't let your focus on this motivation and reaching out to people obscure your path or hinder uh, where you would like to get to your own personal growth in terms of knowledge and ibadah. So I, I sometimes disappear for a while from social media, if you notice. Uh, and the reason is... Uh, I also have family, I have children, I have responsibilities, I have my own growth, my own knowledge, my own ibadah that we need to make sure that we are uh, not blocking, stopping. So that's a very good piece of uh, encouragement to you, inshallah. And uh, is there anything else you want to say? Say it. I think the only problem I have sometimes is whenever I maybe post or some of my lectures on the social media, people like to come comment. This guy talks like Mufti Mank and things like that. And 
and uh, to me it's somehow like I, I prefer it they just watch and just watch like they listening to me and not for example comparing you yeah, comparing me. so I want to tell yes. you ma alayna illa al our job is to deliver the goods what they say how they react what they don't say all of that we are not bothered about There was a time when I used to really get saddened by negative comments and I realized no 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 don't worry you did the job khalas continue don't just ignore it pretend you didn't see it at all just keep going so what for as long as that message went across allah has registered it for you it's over what they some will react positively some will benefit some may not benefit some may comment positively some may comment negatively no problem just keep going keep swimming keep swimming don't worry you will achieve a lot as time passes so there are so many positive comments yes and and and, and positive comment and you know what let your dedication be let your focus be upon a few of your mentors perhaps a few of your uh, close sincere friends that's it some sheikhs maybe who might uh, be close to you or you may develop a relationship with them in the future let them guide you towards a goodness wherever you are going wrong they can correct you but don't allow the public to do that for you because the public is not as expert as expert as you may become or you may be when you allow negative comments to hurt you they be, they discourage you from continuing then you feel lazy then you don't want to do something uh, these guys will pick on me those no it's okay to to have people who don't like you because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had them who are we there, there will be more they will dislike us more strongly than than that so don't worry about all of that let it be and allah will Uh, Allah will allow your growth and at some point even the people will have to nod their heads and acknowledge this young man has worked hard like i say you are 17 when you are 34 see where you would be if Allah wills if Allah wills and keep going and the reason why i asked to meet you today as i just landed in abuja not maybe an hour ago uh was just to ensure that you were encouraged in the right direction don't feel discouraged yes i know what i know about you i have read about you i'm sure it is a uh, it is a big day for both of us to be meeting because tomorrow you will probably uh, zoom past anything i have ever achieved which is a good thing the world is going to grow the, the, today there is tiktok tomorrow there will be tok tik you know it will it will keep growing may allah make it easy So don't be discouraged by negative comments some might call you bad names ignore them the urge that shaitan gives us to respond to such people is actually a distraction if they wanted the haq they would ask they would not insult yes. but if you keep trying to remind them one day they will wear the life vest somehow inshallah the aim is today i met someone for example Uh, a sister who was just talking to me in my mind i said may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the sister to wear the life vest so that when she has to jump into the ocean she will have the vest on you know metaphorically what i'm saying yes. so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy anything else for now i don't think so okay inshallah fatah allah alaykum it is an honor and a pleasure to see you and to meet you and I pray that you can also network with brother Shureem and a few others who are like-minded who want to see the progress of the deen in a way that uh, some of the young can actually digest because sometimes the message is always one the approach differs some people have a hard hitting approach which also positively affects a small category of people or let me not belittle the size but a category of people uh, whereas we have a softer approach Uh, some people have a more encompassing approach because at the end of the day even if it takes 20 years for someone to put on that life vest it's okay there there are people who will hate you they will begin to love you and there are some who might love you one day they might dislike you for some whatever reason it may be no problem that is allah you do your work the idea is to earn jannatul firdaus so jazakumullah khair for your time and your uh the effort that you have made uh to come here today 
I wanted to visit your area, but unfortunately I couldn't do that. No problem. Barakallah. Shukran ya Habibi. Okay, so to the viewers out there, this was an introduction to Mufti Yaks, who is found on social media. Young boy, you've heard about him. Inshallah, it's good to benefit and to see. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.